Uh, I promised you Alaska. We got Alaska and we got rain. We got all of Alaska. We got the weather. Uh, we got our friend Daryl from Juneau here in the house and our friend Don. Uh, this is our day in Juneau. We're going to explore the town a bit, then we're going whale watching. Come along with us. Uh, there's actually a uh, luxury yacht here. I think it's Amea, Amelia, something like this. Uh, the cruise ship works on there that I, uh, I'm in contact with everyone. And I said, all right, I'll try and find you if I can. So one of the things you can do here in Juneau is this tram. It takes you up to Mount Roberts. A lot of hiking trails, but of course, beautiful views of the area. Maybe on a less cloudy day, but uh, yeah, no time for the tram today, I don't think. But uh, still, this is very popular if you come to Juneau. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna be making that joke all day. So just settle right into it. Hit a like, Juneau. leave a comment every time I say Juno. Do you know? Cause I gotta do it, okay? All right, are we good? So at its core, Juno is a on the water town. Uh, this is a memorial uh, remembering those that have lost their lives in pursuit of fishing. Reminds me of the perfect storm. I know that wasn't out of Alaska, but still. Look, this ain't no green screen. This isn't trickery. I'm in nature and I'm alive. I can actually breathe better than I do in Florida. This is amazing. Hmm. I'm gonna swim with a salmon today. That's what I think. I'm stalking, uh, I'm stalking Don. You can say it, Tony. Nice out. Oh! <laughs> Oh, shooting you from the waist up, Don. Don't be too calm. Calm, cool your jets over there. Cool your jets. All right, so this is Daryl. He's the D-man in the community. Daryl is a lifelong resident of Juno. He met us here at the ship. Super cool to meet you, Daryl. So if, if somebody's coming to Juno for the first time, like what's two or three things you say they have to do? Well, obviously you have to see Mendenhall. Mendenhall Glacier. See, see the glacier. Yeah. And if it's a nice day, you got the views from the tram. The trams uh, uh, got to do. Are pretty good. And whale watching. And whale watching. Now, if somebody like wants to come here and get a flavor of the food, like if a foodie shows up, w what should they eat here? Well, there's Tracy's Crab Shack and the Twisted Fish. Those are the two big ones down here. Uh, there's also, I believe, some uh, food tours. Food tours. And how long have you lived in Juneau? I, I was born and raised here. Well, that's pretty cool. Like, very rare do you get the, the inside take. So, uh, Daryl, thank you for sharing that with us. Hit the like button for Daryl. Come on. <laughs> and it was 78 when we left. Yeah, so this is like the main pier area for Alaska cruisers. There's only one ship in today, and we're running at 60% capacity. But uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff over here. I'll just do a big uh, circle here. You can see there's a lot of dock room. Probably uh, normally filled with people. This is the famous Tracy's King Crab Shack. And what I heard is there's always a line. We don't see a line over there, so... I think that's what we're gonna do. Basically, till yeah, it's like till four to three, till the four three hours or something. Yeah. All right, we're at the Tracy King Crab Shack. Here's how it works: order at the counter, grab a seat, share with a neighbor, listen for your name to be called, enjoy. I don't know what the menu is though. We gotta find a menu. So here's how Tracy's King Crab Shack is working. You order right when you walk in the door. Uh, they have a separate bar. So if you order, like, I got a, a, a Alaska White. Uh, that was a recommended beer. I had that on the ship also. It was really good. But you, Steve from Arizona, it's time to get your crab legs. How about that? Uh, but yeah, so if you have something like a beer, you go to the bar, they already got it over there for you. You pick that up and then you find a seat and you wait for them to yell your name out. So. This looks good. I got the combo. I'll show it to you. It's got uh, crab legs, crab cakes, rolls, and uh, with the beer, it was all like 56 bucks or something like that. So uh, we'll see what it's like. Wow. Here we go. I'm so excited. What? Oh my Look goodness. at this. Oh, it's Tanner. Tanner crab. 
some Yum. bisque, rolls, and mini crab cakes. You betcha. And the you best service girl. in Juneau, Alaska. Hello. What's your name? Leonie Lay. Leonie Lay. Thank you so much for uh, for being here. It's a very and Hawaiian, but I'm very clinking. <laughs> there you I'm go. Native. I'm a rare breed. <laughs> I'm 100 percent native. Don from Ottawa is a boot to eat crab. I mean, I think most people know that there's a connection between food and people and culture, and so it's really cool to be here having this meal right by the water, just out in the open. It's, um, it's a good day. It's a good day. Let's just say this: the uh, chowder was good. Good. Yep, crab cakes. Good. Gone. Good. Okay, so it was a lot of work, but here's my approach. I just want to enjoy the crab. I don't want to like crack and then get the crab, so let me show you guys what I've done. I I've repurposed my uh, bisque bowl, my, my chowder bowl. Got everything cracked out of here, and now we will, uh, now we will adorn it with the butter. Okay. Which is now solid. Okay, the plan wasn't rock solid. The butter is solid. <laughs> the butter let me down. It, we are eating outside. It's cold. But now it's crap time. They brought me another butter. So now we get the nice butter pour. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This actually used to be the ferry terminal. So we got an hour and a half until we go to our well watching. Uh, Daryl's saying maybe we should go get a duck fart, which I don't know what that is. But uh, Don, you want to get a duck fart? I'll do whatever you want to do, Tony. Ooh, Don's in a giving mood today. How about that? I guess it's if I'm de if I'm deciding, I, I say we try to get the duck fart. Okay. All right, duck fart it is. Do duck fart. Hope that's not squishy. <laughs> All right. So I mentioned duck fart. That's not something that you go to the city park for. It's actually a drink at the Red Dog Saloon. So we're making our way up, uh, I don't know what this street is called. Ewing Way. This is, this is Franklin. This is, Franklin. this is Franklin. Ewing Way is the steps. There's like a whole road up there that you can only get to through those steps with houses. So that's Ewing Way. Over there is the library with the mural. A lot of good, uh, it's like jewelry everywhere there are cruise ships, Don. Everywhere there's cruise ships. I don't know what the, everywhere. I don't know what that, how that works. And uh, yeah. Ooh, natural Alaskan nuggets. There's gold in these here hills. Only cost an arm and a leg. That's right. <laughs> the Red Dog Saloon. Could be a line to get in the Red Dog Saloon. Hmm. <laughs> nah. So we find the Red Dog Saloon completely full. All we could do was take in the aroma of duck farts. <laughs> Sounds like a great time in there. Those piano player playing some good music. Looks like everybody's having a good time. So. Uh, look, Juno, next time we'll be all about the duck farts. Sorry, Don, I know you're disappointed. I was. You had me all excited about duck farts, and now I, I don't get the experience. We blame Daryl. He told us duck farts. <laughs> ducks, ducks left town. No, I'll never know. Until the next time. This is one of the reasons I like traveling. I don't end up spending a lot of money. <laughs> Totem. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty 
cool looking. I'm going to check out the Alaska Shirt Company. See the shirts, buy the sights. Buy the shirts. See the sights, buy the shirts. Something like that. Oh, there's a bear right here. We've now seen a bear. Very nice. Hmm. You probably find a hat here, Don. Souvenirs, uh, magnets. That's what we're looking for. I'm trying to find something. That says, yeah. I like the plate. I'll come back to the magnets, everybody. Postcard. Beanies. I like the beanies. Uh, bear paw, look at these. That's pretty cool. There's nothing better than like a good old souvenir shop, am I right? Somebody hit the like button for a good old souvenir shop. I like it. Kind of look cool on the uh, all right, I'm gonna do some souvenir shopping and we'll go out to the whale boat sooner rather than later. Pretty cool. Although, like, I'm in a lot, it's always cloudy up there. But the days Those we get, and they have that prototype.